Hey guys, Cheech here with Fly Fish Food. This little streamer pattern, it's kind of like a jig, kind of like a tube jig, but you got to watch this. Watch to the end to, to see how we can get a nice even body on this little streamer, but it's called the Stanky Leg. This is a fly I started to kind of mess around with, I don't know, a few months back and uh, started fishing it quite a bit in local rivers. I fished it in Argentina. I've given it to other people to fish. I've had some of my guys tying them for, for customers. Then it just absolutely crushes fish. I'm gonna show you the color that's done the best for us, uh, but keep in mind, you can really do this in any color, you know, blacks and blues, olive, white, tan, just pretty much any fishy color. So to start out, if you look at this hook, this is a TMCO 708 hook. So it is a jig hook, so it'll ride nice and hook point up. I have a four and a half mil bead. I've chosen one of the fire hole slotted kind of, what do they call them? Speckle or, what do you call them? Speckled beads. Anyway, that's a four and a half mil. And then I was trying to explain to Brigham these are called teardrop bodies and he didn't listen. Anyway, this is called a teardrop body and so it's going to have quite a bit of weight. Other than that, fly is super simple. So first thing we're going to do is start our thread and get the, the weight situation dialed. So I'm going to start out just with my thread right in front of that body and I'm going to get it so that when I, when I slide that body over the thread, it kind of wants to stick. All right, we're getting close. So right there, that's sticking pretty well. And then I'm gonna come up here and I have to kind of use my fingers here, but I'm just gonna use a bunch of thread to mash that bead in place and get it to sit right where I want it. This is probably the most difficult part of the fly. Anyway, so we're good there. At this point, I'm just gonna kind of tease in some uh, super glue here and I'm going to take my thread underneath this point and very lightly put some wraps around this body until I get to the back. If you don't put super glue on for that part um, it can kind of move around on you. So anyway just about like that's plenty. Alright so wrap all the way to the back and we're going to take some of these silicone flutter legs in olive or whatever color. There are a ton of different leg options for this. You can just use whatever you like. I'm going to take basically half the tab of the, the legs and I have a kind of a section right there I'm going to trim off. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that in right behind this uh, second body weight. So once I have it here I'm going to tie this back, but I'm not going to go all the way back to the normal tie-in point for the tail. The reason for that is that it flares quite a bit like that, and I want to control that flare. And in order to control that flare, I just use the chenille instead of thread wraps, because the chenille is a lot thicker, and it won't flare that rubber legs. All right, so the next step is this uh, trilobal antron chenille. It's really cool stuff. It's sparkly. When it gets wet, it goes kind of translucent, just a really buggy material. So I'm going to tie this in maybe with a little bit of core still showing so I can do that first wrap a little bit further back how I want it. Actually, i got to redo that. I only got one strand in there. All right. So that's much better. I'll get it about like that. Okay. So now, I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it all the way forward. And I'm going to trim these legs. You know, you can make a little bit longer tail, but this is going to be maybe just a touch longer than the whole fly. And for my first wrap, I'm just going to come around right at the very back of where I would normally tie in that tail. And if I tie it in like that, it calms those legs down and they just kind of lay flat. I think you guys are, are catching on to what this is. It's basically a tube jig, but we call it the stanky leg around here. So once you get up here, 
that chenille is going to want to kind of bounce, slide off the, the front of that tungsten, and it's going to kind of go from thick to thin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put two turns of chenille right on top of themselves, and then finish up with one final turn right behind the bead, and that way it kind of keeps it nice and chunky and fat. We'll trim that off. When I said chunky and fat, Brigham perked up. He thought I was going to make a joke about myself, but I'm not. Why would I do that, Brigham? All right, so I'm just going to whip finish that. And that's pretty much it. Um, I fish this a lot on a Euro uh, streamer, like a jig streamer type setup. It works really, really well when there are crawdads in the water. Um, in Argentina, we fish as a pancora. It's like a crawdad on steroids. Um, but just to, as a general rule, this thing just slays fish, just like a tube jig does. So, welcome to the Stanky Lake.